If you have water that smells like sulfur or rotten eggs, this is your culprit. I'll explain in a minute. It's real easy to fix. Hold on. Hey guys, so this is the uh, farmhouse renovation project. Way up there is our 600 foot well. And inside that well house, we have a very high-end multi-stage filtration system, including UV and everything. The water comes down to the house and at my sink, I actually have another under sink triple stage filter. I'll do a video, separate video on those. But a lot of people like us, we have the cleanest water in the world but our hot water smells like sulfur and rotten eggs. So in the description below, I'm gonna link to the solution. <laughs> it's very simple. Um, it's not dirt cheap, but this is what we call an anode rod. This one, it's too heavy to be aluminum, so I'm believing it's magnesium. This rod, as you can see, already has some scale on it, but it's designed, instead of your water tank, instead of your water tank corroding, that actually corrodes. So the, everything that's gonna attack your water tank and your elements is gonna go to these anode rods first. In fact, sometimes after years and years, you take them out and look at them and they're just, just about gone. There's a, there's a reaction that takes place inside your hot water tank that produces this smell. All right, I'm gonna stop right here real quick and I'm gonna give you a warning. I've talked to two plumbers that did not know how to fix this problem. They had no idea. And the, one of the plumbers said, yeah, we've tried all kinds of solutions and it just never permanently goes away. So let me read to you the scientific reason, <laughs> the scientific reason that this occurs. The common cause is sulfur bacteria, SRB, in the hot water tank. They feed on sulfur and produce hydrogen sulfide gas as waste. When the gas dissolves in the water, it gives that characteristic odor of spoiled rotten eggs. Even if the smell is horrible, those bacteria are not dangerous to your health. Got it? So even though I have a fantastic water system, 99, 98% absolutely pure UV filter, a small amount of bacteria still will get in there. And this is the cause of it. But I'm warning you, the majority of plumbers do not know this. Now there is a, a company, I'll link them down below. They make a electrically charged anno rod that plugs in and replaces that. And that's what you have to get. So you have to buy that, and then you have to have someone install it. So like I said, it's not cheap because the rod's about 150 bucks. Now, I have two anode rods in my water tank system, but you only have to have one of these. And they rate it by the gallons. So if, when you go to the website or, or whatever your tank is, you'll see it rated. So my tank is like uh, 30 to 80 gallons, which is the most common one. And it's a real small rod. It plugs in, you have to have a plug near your water heater. My problem is that I have one of those low by water heaters in the crawl space and where they installed it stupidly, there's only about eight inches above the tank. Well, guess what? If you only have eight inches above your tank, how are you supposed to get this long rod out of your tank? So I had to hire plumbers to come over they had to disconnect my water heater, drain it, tip it over, replace the anode rod, put it in and reinstall the water tank system. It was a pain in the butt. So it was not cheap. You know, I ended up spending 300 bucks to have that whole thing done. But the water smell was horrible. I mean, there are times it would just smell. I was like, man, it smells like sulfur. It smells like rotten eggs. Even though the water is perfectly clean, it just has that horrible smell. Hey guys, this little device right here is what I'm talking about. This is all you need to solve your rotten egg sulfur smell immediately within 24 hours, be gone forever. Then you have a plug, the little plug plugs into the top of it, turn it on and your rotten egg smells are gone. Let me show you why if your water heater is in your closet inside your house, it's no big deal. You probably could do this yourself, no problem. But I was like, I ain't doing this. I ain't taking this whole thing apart. So we enter the crawl space and, oh, <clears throat> see my, uh, this is my problem right there. See it? So 
there is no way for me to actually go ahead and get in there and take that out myself. I had to have them come in and take it out. All right. Well, now it's sprinkling out, but I'm going to take you up and I want to show you my filtration system. I'm going to do a separate video on this filtration system, and uh, I'll also do one on, I'll include the one that's under my sink. Now this well, the house originally had a shallow board well. Those always fill up with bacteria, um, E. coli, they're horrible for drinking water. So we had one drilled and we didn't hit water until 575 feet. Um, the water itself didn't have a sulfur smell, but it had a rock smell. It actually smelled kind of like a granite rock. This filtration system took all that out completely. But I was really disappointed <laughs> when about two weeks after that, I started to get the rotten egg smell in the hot water and that's what started this whole journey. So let me show you this filtration system. I didn't mess around with this. God bless. <laughs> My son and I actually built this. Make sure there's no rattlesnakes. So this is my this is my pressure tank. This is my pump, my whole system. And then we have a pre-filter, a main carbonized filter, a post filter, and a UV system filter. Got it? So this is top of the line. We have great clean water. Oh, the sun's coming out. We have uh, great clean water, but that's the solution. Don't take anyone else's word. Don't say, we well, need to replace your magnesium with aluminum rods. That's not the answer. Add bleach to it. That's a temporary fix. It'll last for maybe a week or so. So this is the fix. I'll link to it down below. Hope it helped. Done.